Hello everybody, especially warm welcome for all Witcher fans. As promised, today I will be talking about collector's editions for Witcher games. And in this part it will be just about the first game. Before I start, let me set up rules quickly for what I consider to be a collector edition. For this review, I will only consider editions that will add up something more than just a game and a nice packaging. I will also not consider if the release has only Steelbook with it, as I have already reviewed Steelbooks last time. I will also not consider pre-order bonuses unless they were packed together with the main game. And of course, I will not consider any special editions that were not available for sale and that were given only to certain chosen ones. Neither prizes of raffles or contests. As usual, I will start with North America, go to Europe, direction east, towards Russia, then to Asia, and finish with Australia. If there is nothing to report for that region, it will be skipped. Now that everything is clear, let's start! And we are going directly to Europe this time, as there was nothing special for North America for the first release. So-called Western Europe like UK, France, Germany and such, got their collector's edition called Limited Edition. It was packed in a neat box and contained a game, a bonus DVD, a soundtrack, a big map, A2 size and a very nifty softcover art book. This edition is a good choice for all Witcher fans and I can only recommend it. A part of this edition there was also a so-called steelbook edition only released in Germany. However this one has just additional bonus DVD and nothing else. With this we can move to Central and Eastern Europe. Poland as the cradle of this game got the most luxurious collector's edition. This one is the ultimate prize for all Witcher fans and it is rather hard to get it these days. It was packed in a bigger box than the limited edition and contained the game, the bonus DVD, the soundtrack, two manuals, a short story The Witcher from Andrzej Sapkowski. This is also the prologue to the game itself. Then there was a huge two-sided map, the same size as the limited edition, but this time completely in Polish. A hardcover art book, the only hardcover art book you would ever see for this first game. Additional hardcover book about beasts called bestiary. That was still not everything. There was also a tiny keychain of a shape of a wolf head that was numbered and the number was identical to the number on the box. Then there was the grandfather of Gwent, a small card game, again only available in this edition. And finally there was a t-shirt with a nice Witcher logo. Packed with it was a direct letter from CD Projekt that was hand-signed by somebody from the developer team. That means that each of these letters was unique. You might even get stickers with it, but those were more like pre-order bonuses. This was a full packed edition. And for those that didn't manage to pre-order it, as it was sold out within the first day of pre-ordering, there was the standard edition that was still full packed, 
I would call it first edition. This one contains just those three discs and three booklets packed in a small cardboard together with a bit smaller version of that Polish map. As at the time CD Projekt was also distributing games, not just in Poland, but also in Czech Republic, Slovakia and Hungary, we will be talking about their versions of collector's editions as well. Czech Republic and Slovakia, treated as one market, got one release, all in Czech. The biggest of them all was their collector's edition. Originally, it was meant to be just like the Polish one. It even had very, very cool look. The reality was a little bit different. That cool look of the box was gone, replaced with the same design as Polish had. The poster was changed completely and now was showing the very same picture from the art book. Okay, not very good replacement for the art book that somehow disappeared and instead of that they got a pocket version of the bestiary, which for some reason was called Book of the Monsters instead of a bestiary. Albeit there is a word bestiarz in Czech language. They got their map, but this time it was the smaller size. On the other hand, it was localized, full in Czech language. They also got their three discs, game, bonus materials and a soundtrack. And this time all packed in a very interesting packaging. They even get the same keychain, except that it seems that it was not numbered anymore like it was in Poland. They also got a t-shirt. This is the only time where the logo of the game has a different color. It is red instead of white. Because there were less gifts, that also means that the box shrunk. Just like in Poland, there was something like a first edition. And interestingly, this time the design, how all is organized in the box, is the same like for the Polish version. Except that the neat logo on the back is missing. And that there is only one bigger box for all discs. A good option for everybody that did not manage to pre-order collector's edition during the first day. Next one is Hungarian collector's edition. It crossed another border, which means even more disappearing. The size of the box was the same as in the Czechoslovak version, just this time the name of the game was written in English. It had the same type of disc holders, it also had the smaller map and the pocket bestiary, and that was it. No keychain, no t-shirt, nothing else. It also has that so-called first edition, but since I had a hard time to track it down, I am not sure what everything is contained. It seems that the map was there, also some manuals, but I am not sure if the short story was there as well. I can only assume that it most likely was. With all that, we can finally move to Russia. There are three editions that can be mentioned. Their collector edition is just their first edition, or as they call it, gift edition packed in a small leather bag. Actually, this one is the rarest of them all. There were only 270 bags for pre-order. Interestingly, they got four discs instead of three. Additionally to the game, bonus materials and a soundtrack, they got also something called Music inspired by Witcher. There was only one other edition that had it. 
Other than that, there was just simple user manual, the two-sided map, this time all in Russian, and four stickers. Of course, you can get also that gift edition without the leather back, which had everything else and was sold as a collector's edition once they ran out of the real collector's edition. The third one to be mentioned was a special edition for Eldorado shops. A part of two discs, game and the bonus DVD, it also had an audiobook with the book Last Wish from Andrzej Sapkowski. As there seems to be nothing special for Asia or Australia, we can go through honorable and dishonorable picks. I have just one for you, so-called developer edition. Sadly, it was not for sale and you can call it a press kit. There was a very interesting disc holder that contained all games version. The censored North America versions, Western European version, Polish, Czech and Slovak, Hungarian and Russian. It also had bonus material, soundtrack and that other music disc that Russia got. Interestingly, it had that huge map that limited edition had a numbered keychain, the same one as in Polish version, and additional, is it a keychain or a card holder? It also got that big soft cover art book from limited edition. Overall, it was very decent. Just too bad that a normal collector could not order this one. As you can see, there were a lot of differences from country to country. People understood very well just how much their versions were missing against the Polish version and were not that much happy about it. Good news is that by releasing a major update, editions were more standardized and differences became less and less visible until they almost disappeared. However, that is a story for the next time. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to comment. If you have any of these additions, what do you think about this first release? And what would you like to have in my future videos? Thank you very much! Bye!